Okay, let me share with you how you're supposed to solve this kind of question. Okay, now, um, you don't confuse with the transformation techniques to be used. Okay, for this, you no need to show one by one. Meaning you said that you no need to show the process of the transformation techniques one by one. Okay, you only need to have one time at one, one go. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, please make sure your drawing was only within negative one to one. Okay. So here, what you're supposed to do, you need to highlight, okay? Because you should know that in general, you will have in this form, right? A, then you have your cos, then bx plus c, am I right? This is in general. So from here, you identify yourself. So your a is negative 2 here, okay? Your b is pi yes exactly i mean okay it's pi okay and don't forget your c any c here no if no then you put zero okay to construct cost you must have at least five points why because basically i hope that you should remember in general how does the um your cost looks like right Okay, so you can see basically you have <laughs> 1 point, 2 point, 3, 4, 5. So you need to have at least 5 points here. Okay? To construct costs. Okay? So let us start. So and don't forget that all your sketching must be within the range given or provided to you in the question. Okay? So let us start. So how you're supposed to start with? Okay, you need to have the information. Okay, you just name it your x and your y. Okay, so from here you have negative one to one, right? So you have negative one to one. So ensure that you have five points here. Okay, last point you can have 1. Okay, so have 0 here. So meaning to set that to add on, you have, what do you have? You can have negative 0 0.5. Okay, and also 0 0.5. Okay, so this is 0 0.5 Write it properly Negative 0 0.5 Okay, so you may just substitute into into where? into your equation Okay, so just get your calculate. Reset everything first before you start. Okay, so key in. So you have negative two. You have cos pi. Okay, here how you're supposed to do it. Now may I know the pi here refers to what? It refers to three point one four two five or it refers to radian. Okay, which one is correct? Anyone? Okay, so it's supposed to be radian, yes, because this happened to be within triangle, right? So please remember, another careless mistake students did is they quickly just substitute the pi here. Okay, so whereby this is wrong. Okay, whereby this is wrong, see that? Okay, pi here is supposed to be 180 degree. Is it okay? So please be careful. Okay, so this is the careless mistake that I demo to you. Okay, so what you're supposed to do? 
yes either you change to 180 okay or your d you change to radian form because now we are in uh, the index form the d here okay so let us proceed so your x is what x is negative one okay so okay the answer so you have two so you have two okay after that substitute again just change it okay you have 0.5 oh, okay. you have negative 0.5 okay correct okay you have zero here okay so again you have zero of zero so enter you have negative two just modify no need to key in every time okay you just key in the one in the bracket Okay, 0.5. Okay, you got 0. Okay, after that, you have 1. Okay, you press 1. Okay, so you have 2. Okay, so obviously, this will be your things involved. So, I purposely cut a full scap here for you to know how does the things come in. Okay, now, some of you, you may ask me, Madam, do we need to have um graph paper yes you can have if you want if not actually because the questions only ask you to sketch yes okay the question only ask you to sketch so you actually you no need to have any graph will do okay this is just simple calculation so no graph should be okay 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 so just use your full scap Okay, so let us start. So x, the smallest one is negative 1. The biggest value is 1. Okay, so you have, so after that, what else? Then you have y equal to 2, then smallest value is negative 2. Okay, okay, I just cut. A piece of paper in your full scap. Okay, easier for me to modify in this way. Okay, okay, so can you see it clearly? Okay, great. Okay, so here I already obviously tell you what is the smallest value and so on, right? And don't forget to name it. This is your x. Okay, so again, you have your um negative one and one okay here you got 0 0.5 all right okay and negative 0 0.5 okay so can we start okay just proceed okay the first point negative one two so negative one two so it's here okay after that, 0, negative 0 0.5 is here. Okay, after that, 0, negative 2 is here. Okay, 0 0.50. 0. 1, 2, so it's here. Okay, so after that, what are you supposed to do? Yes, just join up. Just join up. Okay, so you get the answer. So you get the answer for graph. Is it just, is it finished? No. Please remember to get all the amplitude, your phase shift and also your period. Okay. Okay, so just continue. Okay, so you write down what is the amplitude? Okay, your amplitude is absolute A. Empty tube. Absolute A, so is absolute 2, so you have 2. Okay, so what is your period? 
okay period is 2 pi over b absolute so 2 pi your b is pi okay so it means that your period is 2 so, okay so in this case any phase shift here no right if you write it's not a problem so phase shift okay it's actually c over absolute b right so since your c is zero so that's why you have zero okay no phase shift here so okay then that will be your full solution for this question okay do have a try